So today is Monday. This vlog was supposed to go live on Friday. That's pretty much how the last few days has gone. Nothing has gone as planned, but we are recovering today, hopefully. Although this is how my morning started. So I had to come back and kind of start the whole intro and transition over. So as I said, this is Monday and we're gonna go back in time to Friday and then Saturday and then Sunday and see exactly what was going on with the packing up of the sewing room. So here we go, back in time to Friday. Hi everyone, Chris O'Neill from Sew the Distance. I am on uh, vlog number two for our big move. This handsome dude back here is my son. Hello. <laughs> He is going to help me with the first step of getting this sewing room moved. And the first thing we need to do is we need to sell the dining room set that I talked about last week. To do that, I need to turn it back into a dining room so I can take some pictures and get it up onto like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or wherever, wherever. So he's gonna help me. Let's get started. So here you can see that we're taking everything off the table, setting it aside, and we're gonna take the risers off um, the legs of the table so I can get it some pictures of it for selling it. So we're pulling out the things on wheels that my husband made and cleaning it up, taking them off. It's been a big help. And turning that table around. And now we're going to empty the china cabinet, which um, I think I said in my last video, I kind of liked having this because it was a lot of storage. Uh, I used some glass containers to store a lot of the notions and fabrics and stuff like that that I had. Uh, so my, hu my husband took my son to the garage to work. <laughs> we were kind of sharing the um, wealth there. And uh, here you can see I'm putting some of my rulers on a design board, a mini design board that I have and taping it up. Every time I come on here, I look worse and worse because I've been working so hard. So I want to show you how I am wrapping a lot of my stuff. I use this wonderful like saran stuff, probably really bad for the environment, I'm sure. But it works really well. So I am using that and I use it on my bobbin case to secure that. And then I just did it on my needle case too that I use. So it won't fall out in shipping and everything. So as you can see, things are progressing. And this has been a multi-day project. Um, I intended to get everything, you know, on camera and video, the whole thing. But to be honest, I got very overwhelmed quickly. And it just didn't happen. We did manage to get the dining room set somewhat back to normal. <laughs> but it does have still a lot of stuff on it that I'm going to pack up. And the, the hutch is ready to go out the door. Of course, my machine, which I am going to hand deliver, that's going to go in the car with me when we move. I also have all my stuff here, which I'm going to review. That The stuff that I'm keeping out, you can see it's minimal. And uh, I'm keeping gray thread and, you know, some tools. One rotary cutter, I have like six, so I kept one on my feet. And as you can see, it's just the stuff that I would use every day, which has really forced me to realize you don't need a whole lot of stuff for quilting. Uh, I kept my ironing board and um, over there an iron and a mat and that blue, this blue bin is for an upcoming video my son wants to do with me. So this is staying out for uh, at least a, another couple days. So there's that. I did have several, I like to do hand product projects, and I had several, and I thought, oh, I'm going to keep all these out, so, because I'll have all this time to do them, and then I thought, well, when am I going to have the time to do them, because I'm really not, so I pared it down to just this one, so that's it, I'm just going to have that one project, it's a Christmas project that I've not even touched in a few days and probably will I'm sure we'll not be ready for this Christmas but I'll have it for next Christmas right so that's how I'm progressing with this I haven't even touched upstairs now I'm going to uh, pack up my mats and I've heard horror stories about mats getting warped and everything you know from the heat and too cold too hot that type of thing and I want to make sure they stay nice and flat so I am packing them with two boxes two flat boxes I'm going to set them 
underneath the table so they just they remain flat and then when we drive home to Pennsylvania I'm going to put them on the base of like the trunk of the car so they stay flat and they will remain flat I don't want to see them get bent or warped or anything like that so I secured them pretty well so what'd you think crazy huh uh, so we have quite a few boxes packed uh, my sewing room at least in the dining room is packed up completely other than those essentials that I set aside uh, I did manage to get my video edited for tomorrow my um, lessons from an old quilt and I got that all ready to go so that's scheduled I'm hoping to start next week's tomorrow so I can get ahead of the game a little bit so I don't miss a week during our move um, but everything is coming together you can see my thread rack behind me is completely empty and um, there are many many boxes I'll put some pictures here um, it's happening uh, on another note I've been kind of planning out my new place my new space and you know been looking at those craft boxes I think they're called uh, for my new sewing room so if anybody has one let me know I've been re watching some reviews now on the other hand I've also been watching a lot of videos on minimalism so there's that so, <laughs> as I'm packing up all this stuff all I can think of is I need to get rid of about I don't know 90% of all this junk that I have anyway I will see you next week on this vlog for um, week three of our move and it's a good one because we are driving to Pennsylvania next week and we will see our new home in person for the very first time. I will see you, well, you'll see me tomorrow for my newest video of Lessons of an Old Quilt. And I'll see you next week here on the vlog. I hope you have a wonderful holiday and um, see you soon. Bye.